Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to create a fast and easy motorcycle track. One of the sites I like to use is called curvature.de. Makes a quick and easy website interface that allows you to make tracks. First off, navigate to curvature.de, select your language preference, click this pencil icon to name your route. And then also under route settings, you can choose how you want your distance. I prefer miles and feet. You could also change the option on how waypoints are added to the map. I like the default by using the shift button, but you may select the always left mouse click and on with the show so you'll notice you have some options for whether or not you want a faster or curvier route and then avoidances things like toll roads uh, and other if you don't want to go off-road you can choose the option and right now we have the start and finish which are empty and you'll notice that if we zoom in and we are going to start the ride. I'm going to hold the shift button. I'm going to click the shift and it's going to drop my start point. And I'm going to hold the shift button again and that'll create my secondary finish point. So right now I only have two points, a start and a finish. And each time I add one, it's going to move the finish point to the last waypoint that I added. So again, left mouse. If you have the hand icon, it's just a map grabber and it will grab it and slide it around for you. And then when you hold the shift button, it changes to a plus sign and that's where it drops the waypoint for you. So it's quick and easy. You can even zoom out a little bit, hold the shift button and drop a bunch of waypoints on the route and it will just keep extending the route until you've reached your end point. And you can zoom and just take big chunks. Depends on your GPS. Some have a small number of waypoints that it allows. So in that case, you'll want to minimize the number and if you come over to the list, it keeps a running tally of how many waypoints you currently have on your track. Some GPSs have a limit of 50 waypoints, some are thousands. So it really depends on your GPS. Um, one thing I wanna add, if you accidentally add a waypoint, it's quick and easy. You come over here, the last waypoint you made, you click the X, it deletes that waypoint, and it pulls your track back to your last, and then now you can fix it. And just add your waypoints on your route that you want to ride. Let's do a couple more. I'm going to zoom in and end it right here. And we'll zoom out, and you'll see the entire track. So to pull that file down, you go up to the top toolbar, click export. I prefer GPX over other types. It really depends on whichever GPS unit you want to use. I like tracks over routes only because, again, when you're going between TomTom Tom or uh, mobile phone GPSs, tracks seem to be universal. And again, I like the medium number of waypoints. Uh, that seems to work well for me. But if you have a GPS with an upper limit of waypoints, you can have it automatically cut those down by selecting few. And lastly, hit the export button and your GPX track will show up in whichever folder you have designated for your downloads. 
Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And if you like it, please hit the subscribe, hit the like button. Take care and ride safe.